hey my friends so today we got the hair all fixed up and the shirt put on and we're going to talk about the no like trust factor if you haven't watched my episode from yesterday you don't know what I'm talking about my hair yesterday was a day off and it was a day of not worrying about my my look I had lots of work to do in the house and I just did a bunch of stuff and didn't worry about gelling this and it got me thinking about course income secrets that yesterday's episode was about the basics what is course income secrets why why is it all over the place why do we talk about all sorts of different things and what it's about so go check that out if you haven't checked it out already today we're going to talk about the no like trust factor and how you build it and what it is and what does it mean and why do you care because as part of a as a business you need to build that no like trust factor if you don't build it you're not going to make sales and we're going to talk about why that is and I'm going to show you a couple examples and we're going to look at what you need to do to build that no like trust factor we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So we hear that, I bet you hear that all the time, right? No like trust, you gotta build your no like trust, you gotta figure out how to get people to trust you and because if they don't trust you they're not gonna buy from you, right? So you must have heard that before where we talk about how building a business online is all about getting people to trust you so that they buy from you eventually right they're not going to buy from you if they don't trust you and that's the same with even offline businesses right if we talk about big retail chains those businesses have earned your trust that's why you go buy there right you trust them you know that if you have a problem you can go back there and return it you know that if you buy something there it's going to be fine it's very rarely that you're going to have any problems right you know that if you go there and have questions you can talk to the staff and ask them questions they'll help you they'll guide you right you trust that brand you trust that business same thing with drinking I don't know coca-cola you trust that brand because you because you know that if you drink it you're not going to get sick it's 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 going to taste the same no matter where you buy the bottle right you trust the brand so how did they get to for you to trust them well traditionally it's all about advertising right you see their name everywhere you hear people who have bought that same product or went to that same retailer you hear stories about people having success getting what they're looking for and not having any problems and you know that that's going to be the case for you when you go there when you buy their stuff right so you got to do the same thing online and when we talk about course income secrets when we talk about building a brand building something so that you can actually sell so people can actually buy we're talking about trust we're talking about building trust so let me just share my screen here and just kind of show you what some some of what I'm talking about right let me just go to Facebook over here if I go to Facebook uh, let me just share my screen let's just get this uh, out of here right there I gotta make this the right size make sure you see the whole thing and now I share the screen it's this up there we go okay so if we're on Facebook right if I just go to my Facebook the feed right here right you see the feed of Facebook you see posts that people are posting you see pictures of people you see people posting results uh you see ads obviously I see all sorts of different things and you know when I look at some of these some of my friends here them the meal the meals are right here um and if I look at uh what's another picture Sherry Brown um Angelo if I look at uh Brooke I mean all these people right all these people are posting pictures of their life they're posting pictures of what's going on in their life like Brooke you know she 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 takes care of cat um, sorry horses and and she's got animal dog too and um you know Valerie she's all about um looking you know, looking good healthy and all that and um Candace is a, a real estate she's working her 
tail off uh, working out as well building her building her health so Robert is somebody who's into building a business online as well or he's building his brand so what is it that these people are have in common like when I look through my news feed this is what this is all I see I see these people posting some good pictures you know pictures and and, and making you think you know um, thought-provoking stuff and as I go through this I get to know these people right Lisa Marie she's a realtor in Florida so I've known her for I don't know four or five years now on social media uh and uh John Melton he's a network marketer but he posts a lot about his family what's going on in his life showing us you know letting getting us to know him um uh Dr Lisa Thompson she's uh she's a uh uh, well she's got diabetes and she learned how to cope with it and how to deal with it she talks about that in lots of her posts but she also talks about herself and this is so this is okay so why is it important right why is it important to build a business using um no like trust factor right if you don't have the money to put up ads for Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram you will not be able to build your business without posting and if you have money to spend then awesome you know go ahead and spend money and create ads and get people to know know like and trust you that way because the the secret is that you okay so let's back up a bit we talked about no like trust right so why do we say no like trust why is it no like trust and not trust like no and or or like like trust and no or or trust no like or whatever right why does it no like trust well the thing is that you want people to trust you because that's the only way they'll buy from you right so we've learned that we know that in marketing if you want somebody to buy from you they need to trust you and they're not going to buy from anybody they don't trust so you got to get to that point where they trust you right so how do you get people to trust you well you're not you're going to trust somebody only if you like them <laughs> you're not going to trust somebody you don't like so whether it's a brand or a person it's all about <laughs> it's all about liking them right you got to like somebody before you can trust them before you can like them before you can uh, buy from them so how do you get to like somebody on social media well you could be you know well let's let's go in the old you know olden days right in the back in the day where people would have a community uh, community barbecues that people would go to church every Sunday I mean yeah sure lots of people still go to church but I just mean in the you know 100 200 years ago that used to be the norm not the exception right so everybody would go to church on Sunday and that's where everybody would be around each other and they would kind of have time to talk and ask what's going on in their lives and the people that re that others really liked were the people that were asking questions let's go back to the webcam here so the people that were asking questions about you and interested in you they would get you they would you would eventually like them you well not probably not eventually it doesn't take long for you to like somebody who's interested in you right it's just automatic we automatically like somebody who's interested in us so how does that translate to social media on social media if you start posting things that ask people things like questions right if we if uh, if I go back to the desktop the webcam here so I mean if you look at some something like uh Erin Birch here right she's awesome um she's saying um uh, that it didn't wake up sooner talking about getting she got, got up later than them or something I don't know uh, or maybe you've got somebody that's asking something like this hope you have a fabulous and amazing day somebody who's posting something asking how you're doing right so you post things like that where you're asking people and telling them or maybe an inspiration like this right you post regularly things that ask people content questions about them right you're interested in them now this is general so you can't that's not enough I'm not saying that's all you got to do you can't just be posting about or a general post like this right uh where you ask questions that's engagement right there's engagement that's important to do but it's not the only thing you got to do you got to also be connecting with people you can't so if you want people to know like trust you you got to get they got to get to like you right so how do you get to, them to like you like I said you have engaging questions 
posts and reach out to them have conversation with them talk to them uh, ask them uh, about them right so how do you do that so if I go to Katie's page right I can go to her page right here I can actually just go look at what she posts I already know Katie's one of the online marketers I follow and I can see that she's posting about a five-day challenge here she's talk she's a entrepreneur <laughs> entrepreneur I guess she's an aunt <laughs> and uh, she posts here about different things but if I go through her timeline right here I can see oh look she's got a new carpet um or new is it a new carpet or picture oh she's asking of the picture center <laughs> it looks centered um and put updating her shower she's talking about then posting pictures of, of of flowers or is it or those no those are those are red leaves oh yeah I saw some of those on the weekend um uh, pancake syrup uh who else mistaking this for pancake syrup yeah corn syrup yeah <laughs> um anyway so she posts different things you know uh healthy eating stuff recipes exercising that kind of stuff so what you can do now in this case Katie is an entrepreneur already so you can kind of see right here so you couldn't if you if we you weren't friends with her like let's say actually let's go look at somebody who I'm not friends with so this is her friends okay she's got 344 mutual friends with me these are probably mutual friends yeah Brooke and Adam and Derek but let's say I just go to see all here and I can see uh, recently added friends let's say so people I don't know right if I look at people I don't know I don't know it doesn't really matter you go to anybody's profile let's go here Je Jesslyn so she's a wife she's a mother of two she's a lover of Jesus she's a patriot and she she posts about Jesus I'm not really that much into a religion or Jesus so I'm not going to worry I'm not going to try to but I want to give you an example of somebody let's say uh, Nancy here uh, arms that always hug and hold love that ending my life change priority Nancy so I can just on here oh look at that door wow uh came to her house today forgot that you rather records everything from all the cameras hidden around our face uh -huh. <laughs> so opening ha open house coming soon for sale condo so moose on the loose so I can you know what I can do is I can reach out to her and, and want them want your life to change make your life your priority so first of all you want to follow right follow anybody that is a not your friend that you're trying to connect with right so uh, then you can like their stuff right or love their stuff and <laughs> and I know that that's not I mean it's a profile this always goes to your my profile if I was to click it it would go to mine if you were to click it it would go to yours etc right this is kind of a joke uh and then over here she's talking about a uh, for sale condo and then over here moose on the loose now we're just gonna oh wow I'm just gonna go wow that's a big, that's a big moose okay all right so now I commented a few things on her stuff and I'm going to send her a message I'm going to say hey Nancy uh and then was that moose in your backyard so I mean this is kind of a I'm just kind of obviously you want to you want to be finding people that are connected with you differently like maybe in groups or something that's maybe they're not friends yet um and I'm gonna say I see you're also into online marketing oh I've been doing it doing it since 2015 how long have you so one of the things you want to do too is you want to make sure that you are relatable so you relate to them something about you you tell them about you and you ask them a question you don't just ask questions that's one of the things I learned over over time and uh, oh actually we're not seeing that right let me move my so I'm just 
saying here hey Nancy was that moose in your backyard now obviously I know that's not true it's a joke but anyways that's fine and I see you're also into online marketing I've been doing it since 2015 how long have you and that's so basically I'm being relatable and telling her about me I'm asking her a question but I'm also telling her about me so being relatable and then the next thing um um I'm going to send her a friend request I'm going to say ps sent you friend oops friend request hope that's okay hope that's okay there you go all right so now I sent a, re a message request I commented on some of her stuff and I sent a, a message that's kind of relatable that's kind of about what she does to kind of have a connection right so that's one of the things you got to do so no like trust you get to know people you get them they get to know you and then they end up liking you so that's the that's how the no like trust factor works it's they need to like I said before they buy they need to trust you and how do you get them to trust you they got to like you and how do you get them to like you they got to know you there's so there's a couple things you got to do to get people to know you is create content regularly and connect with people regularly send messages look at their stuff comment on their stuff see what they're see what they're about right go through their timeline and you know uh say stuff like you know she talks about uh how many times a day do you practice skincare routine whether it's cold and dry she's asking questions about stuff she probably has a product to sell maybe I'm not sure but that's that's one of the things you can do to build your brand right you talk about issues that your product or your company solves you don't you don't talk about your product and she's doing a great job there just showing just asking questions about you know what does somebody what do you do right what I'm not I'm a man I don't have skincare whatever but you know that's that's one of the things you do you ask questions about stuff right so let's just go back here to newsfeed so that's the other thing obviously you want to be engaging and you want to be commenting on people's stuff right um you see things like David Vidalis he's always posting about courses just like kind of like me he posts about courses and creating courses and he's talking he's asking questions he's being engaging right how many online course gurus do you follow and would recommend to the other members in this group I mean obviously uh Russell Brunson is not really a course guru but he's a marketing guru if you will but definitely recommend Russell um I follow Monique Monique Muro um Megan Harrison Harrison oh that's weird she's not in this group Megan Harrison oh she's not in the group okay anyways I follow Monique Muro and David Vidalis also Russell Russell oops Russell oh, Russell Brunson there let's just put the page although oh there's no uh, although he's not a course guru per se course guru per se there we go let's just post that okay uh and you know that's the thing you got to be engaging and then you got to be creating content if I look at my my profile I'm not doing that great because I'm posting mostly my daily episodes like what you're watching right now it's going to be 218 cis218.jsgagnon.com you can go check out the blog post but I do post you know family things in here once in a while uh some of the renovation stuff I'm working on right and but it's mostly and and the thing is that even though I'm posting mostly my episodes right mostly my episodes I'm sharing my episodes right like this right course income secrets mostly that um it's still important to be consistent you got to be posting regularly you got to be um, creating content that is your audience can be interested in and in my case I it's course income secrets it's about generating income 
from e-learning right it's generating income from the online online um uh, education right online education is today is the biggest thing everybody is wanting to learn online instead of going into a classroom I and mean, there's the covid thing that's going on so that's obviously um, helping people to and or forcing if you will people to 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 want to do it at home but even then people are getting used to that and they're preferring it over going into large crowds and they're getting more individualized attention they're feeling less as if they're you know uh, being uh what's the word um they're being anyways they're, they're they're shy about being others right around others online you're not right so that's why e-learning is so big right now and that's why it's important for you to learn these skills how do you how do you get people I mean you can create a course you can create a course you can upload a course and you can post it somewhere and you can tell people hey I got a course it's over here it's 50 bucks it's 200 bucks it's 5,000 bucks whatever but how are people gonna buy it if they don't know like and trust you they're not going to you're gonna have a super hard time getting people to buy from you if they don't know like and trust you and one of the ways is to post regular content like I'm doing with the course income secrets every single day at least weekdays I'm posting a new episode about generating income from the e-learning boom right that's kind of what I say I say it's it's you know the question is how do you generate a residual income how do you what are the tools techniques and strategies you need to learn to generate income from the rigid from the e-learning boom that's happening right now right so I say that in the intro all the time well I don't say it all the time <laughs> my intro plays in all the episodes <laughs> so but the thing is that generating income is one thing but getting people to buy is another and for you for them to buy from you you have to generate the you have to create a no like trust environment where they get to trust you like I said they gotta like you first and they gotta know you for them to know you gotta be posting regularly and one of the things on social media is you post regularly eventually people are going to start seeing stuff right I I was talking to one of my mentor last night he was like I watch all your videos and I, I'm like yeah okay you don't you don't have time to watch all my videos but anyways it feels good and maybe he does watch some of them right but the thing is that it's it's he's like this is awesome you have this 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 signature start you have this and you have that and I'm like oh well that's cool that you notice awesome thanks and and that's the thing if you have a signature start to your videos and people just watch the first few seconds and they watch it two three four five times eventually they're going to start to be like I wonder what that guy has to say or what that girl has to say so they might watch more of it and then eventually they fall into the rabbit hole of wanting to watch more of your stuff because it they just feel connected and they feel that you're uh, somebody that they can they can follow right and then if you reach out to them if you send them messages if you comment on their stuff they're even going to be more inclined to look at your stuff right and so you got to find people where the in the right places you got to find people where they are and you know you just you just that's just that's just the secret of the no like trust factor you got to get people to know you got to get people to know you before they like you and then after they like you they'll trust you and that's the secret <laughs> the no like trust factor is as simple as that all it is is them getting to know you so that they eventually like you and then trust you I keep talking about this I talked about this in lots of other episodes and one of the things that I talked about yesterday was how course income secrets is about everything you need to know to sell courses online selling courses online is not about creating a course and putting it up there right I mean that's part of it sure <laughs> you got to do that and generating income from the e-learning boom is also not even about creating courses and selling courses you can actually promote other people's stuff that are in that area right you can promote uh, other people's courses you can promote platforms you can promote uh um, affiliate programs there's all sorts of things you can do without you having to even create a course isn't that awesome that's that's pretty cool 
and that's something you can do today I mean sure you could do it before you could you could promote you know the corner store and maybe they would give you a kickback on every sale they made but the thing is that the markup is so low there that you would maybe get you know one to five percent of the sale if if the person said you're the one that sent up to there right so same thing with some of the retailers the big retailers have uh, referral programs right well they'll give you 100 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month or something like that for promoting their thing and even like I don't know online banking some of the online banks they'll give you a 10 dollar or 25 dollar a bonus if you refer somebody to their to their platform to their to that bank and that person does a certain set of things you get 25 25 bucks or something right and you know people like people like that I mean if if I'm gonna refer somebody to you know uh if I'm gonna refer somebody to my bank because I like my bank why wouldn't I get a kickback right why wouldn't I get a little bonus I mean it's not like I'm gonna become rich by doing that because I don't know that many people that need need to change their bank account but you know at least it's better than nothing but that's what I'm talking about when you're building your income online you don't have to have a course you can promote other people's stuff and that's one of the things we talked about in course income secrets right we talk about promoting things we talk about how to build your fan base so that people are actually interested in what you're promoting and all these different things so we talk about that and you know it's it's that's the secret though it's getting people to know like and trust you that's it's really that simple no like trust build a no like trust factor and you'll get sales people will come back and they'll want to buy more stuff because they trust you because they like you because they know you they they feel like you're their family so that's where you got to get to and it's not that simple but it does happen and it's just a process all right so hopefully you uh, you got some value from this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time